So you're working with more cash pay patients and you're looking for other things you can add into your sequence or your framework or your clinical skill development and you're looking for more resources. The great news, I'm here to share that with you. My name is Chris Garcia. I help cash-based physical therapists with their clinical framework, uh, how to improve clinical outcomes and be successful in business. When we look at cash pay patients, you might see them as uh, a patient who is looking for more, a patient who wants a better experience, a patient who wants better outcomes. They're looking for something different. And there are three simple things, three simple questions that you can ask every single cash pay patient that will just enhance your clinical skills, just enhance uh, everything that you're adding on to that, your great rehab progressions, everything else, and just heighten the experience. But more importantly, it will help them understand why you're different and why you're separate separating yourselves amongst the other chaos of insurance-based care. These three questions will help you develop a better relationship, gain a better buy-in, and ultimately help your outcomes because this person now believes in what you can do for them because you ask them these three critical questions. The first one is you have to understand where they've been. Um, this is very, very critical. If you were managing an ACL, that's really straightforward because it's post-operative. They have a brand new starting point. When you deal with chronic pain, when you deal with people who haven't been able to get an answer to a problem, you have to figure out what hasn't worked. And before you start throwing your magic on why your residency training, fellowship training, your manual skills, your certification, whatever makes you special clinically is irrelevant because what you have to figure out is what if that same person that they saw in the past that solved, that couldn't solve their problem also had a residency trained clinical fellowship and manual therapy, whatever it is, whatever credential makes you feel good about yourself. And ultimately this patient now doesn't see that as value. And so you have to figure out what is it that you that you didn't enjoy before, what didn't work. And now that gives you a better platform to work off of like, oh, even though I have a manual therapy certification, you're not looking for that because that didn't help you in the past. Okay, that's great. So now we're not gonna attack it with what you would typically do, maybe a manual-based approach. This person's literally telling you, I don't want that. Fantastic, that sets a framework of what uh, to avoid in the future. Now, we talked about the past. The next one is, um, what what is it that you're aspiring to get to? What's the ultimate goal uh, with what you're trying to accomplish? What is this limiting you from? And now you can figure out what the long-term goal is. So they might be seeing you for knee pain, but the long-term goal is to be able to play softball in a, you know, in a 50 or 60 year old league. So maybe this person's 50 to 60 years old and they want to be able to go back to playing softball with their peers, their friends, whatever it is. And they were able to do it in the past and they haven't been able to because of this darn knee pain. So you're not trying to solve knee pain. You're trying to solve, how do we get you to the softball field? That is the ultimate goal. So we found out what didn't work in the past. Great. I understand that. We're not going to work on that. What's the thing that you want to be able to accomplish? Play softball. That's what we're looking for. So we're not going to do the manual therapy and we're going to get you to softball. Somewhere in the middle is where you thrive, right? This is where this is your jam. This is what you're good at. The last question to ask is what made you specifically choose me or this facility or this business? And now you have the trifecta. Now you have perspective, now you see the future and now you see why they chose you. Those three questions set you up in a better platform to understand why that patient specifically is seeking you out, your services, the company you work for, the work, the company you work in, whatever it may be. Now you understand the customer because once you understand that, that patient now says, wow, you're unlike the other ones, which was, we're going to do manual therapy, exercise, and rehab progressions to get you pain-free. What if they didn't like the manual therapy or the rehab progressions? That's the past. What if they weren't looking to get pain-free and they just wanted to go softball, but everyone's focusing on range of motion and pain-free? They didn't look at the future. And no one asked the simple question of why that patient chose you specifically. Now, you might think, well, how does this impact my clinical outcomes? Because the customer understands you and you understand them. That relationship is key to building any successful business relationship on why they hire you. The reason why you hire anyone or anyone hires you is because you get them, they understand you, and that is what creates great business opportunities. Now, in a cash pay setting, this person is literally hiring you to uh, solve a problem that they know how to fix on, on their own or nobody's been able to fix for them. For that reason, you have to demonstrate that you understand every aspect of what they're looking for and can verbalize that. 
Those three questions will make a huge impact on clinical outcomes. Why? Because that gets you past just the initial evaluation or those first two to three sessions where most patients won't return. So there you go. Uh, be excited. And now you can help somebody further, longer, improve their outcomes and improve their quality of life more than you were currently doing. Hi, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification for my weekly tips on treating cash pay patients, becoming that expert in your community, and thriving in business. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.